Please be seated. As Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon's ceremony for the Department of Allied Health Professions and Midwifery and the Department of Nursing, Children's Learning Disability, Mental Health and Social Work. May I introduce the platform party to you. And on my left, may I welcome Professor Richard Price, Dean of the School of Health and Social Work, and on my left, oh, sorry, on my right, Mrs. Julie Newland, Pro Vice Chancellor for Business and International Development. And finally, at the table on my far right hand side, Mrs. Sue Grant, the Secretary and Registrar who carries the University Mace. May I also welcome our graduates, their relatives, and friends to this afternoon's ceremony. This is a significant moment in our graduates' lives. And graduates, I would encourage you just to spend a little time before you come across the stage, reflecting upon your time at the University of Hertfordshire, and really remembering to savour every moment of today's ceremony. And try to relax as you come across the stage, because this moment does not come back. I have pleasure in calling upon Professor Richard Price to address the Assembly. Good afternoon, and also on behalf of the University of Hertfordshire, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all of our graduates, your families and friends. I'm delighted to be sharing this special moment with you and to celebrate that all you've achieved in your studies with us. The experiences that our graduates have had will have not only challenged them intellectually, but also personally. Those academic and other challenges will have been the essential elements in expanding the boundaries of knowledge and in furthering personal development. The attributes that you will have developed will give you the intellectual competence, confidence, and professional skills that make you a real asset to employers, the people you serve, and to your chosen professions. Now, most of you work in environments where you will have direct contact with clients, patients, and their families. It is a privilege to have gained that special knowledge and skill that enables you to do that. And you will know, as well as anyone, that with these attributes you have responsibilities and therefore accountability for your actions. Now sometimes in our world, everything is not neat, tidy, and ordered. And we see reports from the health and social services where perhaps things have not gone as they should, and maybe the standards have not been the most appropriate. However, as professionals, we have to recognize that and it is our duty to reflect on those issues and to take action to ensure that they do not occur again. But it will be in the shame in the continuing debate of which our graduates must be part that if we fail to recognize that our health and social services don't remain the envy of very many across the world. Neither can it be doubted that the vast majority of professionals and I include our graduates here today, give their all to support the people they serve. And as we will recognize, there is no room for complacency, but in a world of economic stringency, there are clearly real challenges that we all have to face. As for our part at the university, we will continue to promote the values of ethical behavior, personal contribution, and responsibility. I would say that you are all very equipped to deal with the demands of your professions to provide contemporary evidence-based practice. Your knowledge-based problem-solving ability and communication skills are attributes that will ensure you that you will remain, attain the highest standards. First and foremost, professional integrity will guide you to do what is right and at the right time. As you become leaders, and you will, 
Others will look to you for inspiration and guidance. Your dedication and the high level of skills you have developed will contribute greatly to the country as a whole. Now, wherever your careers take you, you all share a common link. You are all part of an international network of Hertfordshire alumni. And every year we welcome alumni who have gone on to achieve success in this country and overseas. And people who feel passionately about giving something back, sharing their stories and insights. So please come back to us and share those stories with us. You too could be someone who makes an incredible difference to a young person's life and encourages others to follow in your footsteps. Our alumni are important to that continuing success. Now, while I hope the University of Hertfordshire has provided you with tremendous support through your tutors, I urge you to also think of others who have made today possible throughout, through so many sacrifices, going back to your school days, your peers in the university, your friends, and of course, your families. Now, all that reminds me to do is once again sincerely congratulate you on your outstanding achievements. I hope you look back on your time as a student here with great fondness. So on behalf of the University of Hertfordshire, I thank you for being with us today, and I wish you every success for your future lives and careers. Thank you. We shall now receive the graduates of the Department of Allied Health Professions and Midwifery and the Department of Nursing, Children's Learning Disability, Mental Health and Social Work. Candidates are presented by a senior academic member of staff from their department. Awards, sponsorships and prizes that have been given in the final year of study will be read out prior to the graduate's name. I first call upon Professor Tim Watson. Department of Allied Health Professions and Midwifery, Doctor of Philosophy. Adamola Olisegan Ali Kundi has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Factors Affecting the Uptake of Pulmonary Rehabilitation and the Effectiveness of a Video-Based Home Exercise Program in Patients with Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Dr. Ali Kundi. Master of Science degree in Advanced Physiotherapy, Cynthia Kumar Ramanathan. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Advanced Physiotherapy, with distinction, Kira Helen Neal. Master of Science degree in Advanced Physiotherapy, Neuromusculoskeletal, Leanne Kelly Antoine. <laughs> Winner of the Elsevier Prize, Elaine Margaret Byrne. With distinction, James Robert Daniel Noble. <laughs> Fiona Jane Parker. Christina Mary Martha Sanilathan. (Applause) 
Master of Science degree in Dietetics, Advanced Practice, Sarah Louise Ashley. Master of Science degree in Medical Imaging and Radiation Sciences, Diagnostic Imaging, Timothy Mabara. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Medical Imaging and Radiation Sciences, Image Interpretation, Alexander David Hughes. Postgraduate Diploma in Medical Imaging and Radiation Sciences, Diagnostic Ultrasound, Evelyn Olivo. <laughs> Master of Science Degree in Paramedic Science, Lynette Marie Silito. Master of Science degree in Sport and Exercise Rehabilitation, Stephen John Smith. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Pre-Registration Midwifery, Ashabi Claire Elizabeth Agu Lionel. Manjola Bala. <laughs> With first class honours, Megan Baldwin. <laughs> Gemma Louise Butt. With first class honours, Rachel Helen Carter. <laughs> Daniela Elizabeth Dalby. <laughs> Camille Adeline Del Pozo. With first class honours, Debbie Duffin. <laughs> Lisa Farrell. <laughs> With first class honours, Faye Freeman. With first class honours, Alice Girling. <laughs> Charlotte Graves. <laughs> Samira Guled. Sherry Gunn. <laughs> Juliet Henry. <laughs> Ruth 
with first class honours and winner of the University Prize, Claire Hodgson. <laughs> with First Class Honours, Grace Maria Jackson. <laughs> Sally Marie Johnson. With First Class Honours, Tori Alexia Johnson. <laughs> With First Class Honours, Sophie McGowan. With First Class Honours, Evangeline J. McKay. With First Class Honours, Claire Louise Milligan. Michaela Murphy. Brenda Mutty. <laughs> Lauren Jane Potter. <laughs> Barbara Ann Power. With First Class Honours, Sarah Claire Puntis. With First Class Honours, Charlotte Rivet. Elizabeth Ann Snowden. Emma Jean Sugg. With first class honours, Geraldine Lufakeli Sanduqua. With first class honours, Kaylee Ward. Woo! Jenna Louise Weissall. Jackie Willoughby. Melissa Warby. <laughs> Teresa Michelle Young. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Maternal and Neonatal Health Studies, Melanie Cork.
Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Paramedic Science, Kevin Patrick O'Sullivan. Thomas Yu. <laughs> Foundation Degree Science in Paramedic Science, Grace Elizabeth Aspen. Thomas Barker. <laughs> Kieran Billen. <laughs> With distinction, Holly Georgia Clark. Zoe Elizabeth Cooper. <laughs> David Darborn. <laughs> Abby Rose Doolan. With distinction and winner of a university prize, Stuart Stephen Furman. <laughs> Scott Anthony Forbes. Alexander Gerling. <laughs> Sam Daniel Harrison. <laughs> ben Jasper. With distinction, Elia Juliana Keating. <laughs> With distinction, Jennifer Ann Lee. Anand Narendra Mehta. <laughs> Kate Rebecca Norris. <laughs> Max Philpot. Jamie Stephen Pilkington. <laughs> Emily Charlotte Ross. <laughs> Nua Sahan.
Paul Richard Sims. With distinction, Caroline Louise Smith. Richard Edward Smith. <laughs> Paige Stride. <laughs> Robert James Tyler. <laughs> Lara Wikanowski. <laughs> Christopher Michael Williams. <laughs> Samuel James Morris Wood. Bachelor of Science degree in Physiotherapy, Oliver Combridge. <laughs> Manvia Nagra. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Diagnostic Radiography and Imaging. Ruby May Addy. <laughs> Katie Ellen Buckley. <laughs> Nazreen Kassan. Nihat Ladhani. <laughs> Fanaza Sahajuan Sahijuan. <laughs> Hafsa Mohammed Sheikh. Department of Nursing, Children's, Learning Disability, Mental Health and Social Work. Master of Science degree in Mental Health Recovery and Social Inclusion. Joyce Rambenpassi. <laughs> Winner of a University Prize, Stephanie K. Ventling. Sarah Elizabeth Williams. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Social Interventions. Winner of a University Prize, James David Medus. Rachel Joan Pegram. <laughs> Rachel, 
with distinction, Ahi Wheeler. Postgraduate Diploma in Social Interventions, Rachel Helen Duffield. <laughs> Master of Science Degree in Social Work, Gifty Anim. Rachel Lois Atterton. <laughs> With distinction, Ian James Boyd. With distinction, Fiona Brook. <laughs> With distinction, Rowena Elizabeth Brown. Alison Jane Bull. <laughs> With distinction, Treadgold Chindundundu. With distinction, Haley Louise Cripps. <laughs> With distinction, M Megan Emily Dayton. With distinction, Claire Maria Duffy. <laughs> With distinction, Jennifer Alice Duran. Russell Bruce Evans. <laughs> Rebecca Fordham. With distinction, Alexandra Emily Elizabeth Guinea. <laughs> Hester Louise James. Hilary Maya James. <laughs> Michelle Musunga Machikotu. Melissa Moreland. <laughs> Ms. 
Chipo Muchemi. Non Harlow's Wellahile Mugadza. Bridget Nam. With distinction, Bocha Noko. Vanita Lila Nuyandoa. Placides Nyamingura. Ifonyemi Obasanya. Ioma Ocherafo. Linda Regan. <laughs> With distinction, Gemma Elizabeth Shepherd. <laughs> Stacy Showers. Faye Thomas. <laughs> Yaroslav Wukash Tkacheg. <laughs> Abigail Windsor. With distinction, Michelle Mien Chin Yang. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Mental Health Studies, Margaret Ann Osborne. Rosaria Zanfordino. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Social Work, Kirsten Hall. Asli Ipekunal. <laughs> School of Computer Science, Master of Science degree in Computer Networking Principles and Practice, Yun Chen Tan.
Department of Pharmacy, Pharmacology and Postgraduate Medicine. Master of Science degree in Advancing Clinical Pharmacy Practice. Mufida Ahmed A. Alwaif. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Pharmacovigilance. Orla Mary Barron. One of the great privileges of being Deputy Vice-Chancellor of this university is that I have the opportunity to congratulate our graduates and share a moment with them. I really do enjoy it because you get to see where the students have come from and all their strengths and what you know is that they're going on to great things. So it's fabulous to just have a short moment of time with them. But less of me, I now call upon Ashby Agu Lionel to talk to us. Thank you. Deputy Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to make a dedication of thanks. I am not used to standing and giving a speech in front of so many people, so please bear with me and excuse my nerves. I've also forgotten my glasses. <laughs> Having recently commenced my new career, the prospect of writing this speech in between midwifery shifts, trust training and family commitments initially seemed daunting. However, it is a privilege to reflect on the events of the past three years and the support that I have received. I am proud of my achievements so far, as I am of those of my peers. I am honoured to have this chance to express gratitude to everybody who helped us through to this day of graduation. Our degree journey has been challenging. During our training, we have endured gruelling modules, brain overload, death by PowerPoint, <laughs> OSCEs, dissertation projects and much, much more, whilst maintaining placements involving 12 and a half hour shifts. We have had to juggle life, childcare, families, bereavements, health complications, fatigue, financial difficulties, the list really does go on and on and on. But we have made it through to a positive conclusion. Hooray. <laughs> My experience can be summarised by the words of the late great author, poet, educator and civil rights activist, Maya Angelou. You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeat so that you can know who you are and what you can rise from. There have been occasions when I have felt defeated and doubted my abilities. As a consequence of this, I have developed and enhanced many skills to conquer each setback and successfully rise above them. In my words, I am not defeated. I have risen and I will continue to rise. My course has equipped me with resilience, dedication, and a strong sense of responsibility. It has also given me the strength and the determination to be the best midwife that I can possibly be. We have all faced many challenges that have at times overwhelmed us. Through the support of our loved ones, our lecturers, and the university support systems, we have overcome them. We are here today to claim our victory and to move on to achieve further successes in our new careers as qualified professionals. Achieving this goal enables us to support and empower our clients whilst hopefully making a positive impact in their lives. What a privilege. The feeling of extreme gratitude for the provisions which have allowed us to qualify in our chosen professions is highlighted by the, by the proposed elimination of the NHS bursary scheme which has supported many of us with our tuition fees. This means that for future prospective healthcare professionals, they may be restricted or excluded from attaining their dream careers. I hope that our triumph today will express the value of inclusion for the effective provision of 
a professional, compassionate health service that meets the needs of a diverse population. On behalf of all the graduates of the Departments of Allied Health, Professions and Midwifery, the Departments of Social Work and Nursing, including Children's, Learning Disability and Mental Health Nursing, I would like to thank our lecturers, our families and supporters for championing our causes and assisting our accomplishments. I would also like to thank the Deputy Vice-Chancellor for receiving us today. Thank you. Ashby, you are a credit to your fellow students, your fellow graduates. Thank you very much indeed. I'd also like to thank you for taking some of the words from my final speech as well, so thanks very much for that. <laughs> um, we are drawing towards the conclusion of this ceremony, but there are a few words that I would like to say before we do close. The first is that um, it always astonishes me the range of shoes that come across the stage at every graduation. And what's more is I sometimes wonder how somebody's going to get to me without them falling over. However, I'm pleased to say all of you graduates did that successfully. Very well done. Just before I do complete, um, I would like to say one or two things that I found to be quite useful for me as I've gone through my career. And actually, Ashby mentioned a couple of them, but I'm nevertheless going to reiterate what's been important to me that you may wish to reflect upon as you go forward. There are a number of characteristics that have been identified by high performers, and I see them in bundles of students who come across the stage. And those four characteristics for me have been very important to reflect on from time to time. Well, what are they? Firstly, self-belief. Self-belief that you can achieve whatever you want and actually have the vision to do that. Secondly, motivation. And I'm not talking about external motivation. I'm talking about internal motivation. What comes from within and how important that is. Thirdly, focus focusing on the right things at the right time and not getting distracted away from things that are important. And fourthly, but by no means least, the ability to manage and handle pressure, and probably more important than that, actually bounce back from setbacks. Because you will all have setbacks, but the key bit is to ensure that you manage to bounce back from them. And for me, those things have been important, and I hope you may reflect on them as you go forward today as graduates of the University of Hertfordshire. Before I do close though, I know that what you've achieved today would not have been achievable without many, many people, friends, families and relatives, all who've, whom, some of whom are sat in front of you. I'd just like to take a moment to thank them for what they've done for you. Thank you very much. I always notice friends and family and relatives clapping themselves, and that's absolutely fine. There's no problem with that at all. I'm right for it. The other group of people that I do want to highlight are the people who are sat directly behind me, the staff. For me, I've had the pleasure of working at a number of institutions, but never have I come across a group of staff who are as committed and passionate about students as the staff who are sitting behind me about the student experience and what you get. I know from the conversations that I have with them, and indeed the conversations I have with students, how important that they have been for you in achieving what you have done today. I'd like you to show your appreciation for our staff who are absolutely sensational for what you've achieved.
That does conclude the formal part of these celebrations. However, the celebrations will continue in the ceremonial marquee where light refreshments will be served. Graduates will follow directly behind the academic procession to the marquee and guests are asked to join them there. I would ask you to stand while the academic procession leaves the auditorium. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you.